these two boys. Watch them. They're good boys. Miracle's down there watching them. I'm surprised Ivan's not there trying to tell them what to do, how to do it. They've dug a hole. They're going to set my post. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, awesome. And I'll get my sign put together and go down and mount it on that post. How this fucking hole. I love that sign. And forever, that pond will be known as Heidi's Swimming Hole. It won't be just a pond. People will eventually start calling it Heidi's Swimming Hole. Just like Camp Heidi. It will become Camp Heidi. You know, it's funny how things can take on a name. Like uh, Hales Ford back here in the back. An old man over 100 years ago dug that bank off so he could cross the river with his wagon to come up here on this old field out here where he's been an Indian camp. It was cleared where the camp was, and he would plow and plant a big plant his crops. And uh, it would come known as Hales Ford. And that old field itself, even though there's been my great grandpa, my grandpa, my dad, and us have all farmed on that field, hay crops and corn crops and everything else, it's still called Hale's Field. The old Hale Field. So, I used to think it meant H E L L when I was a boy because it's so hot out there. <laughs> yes, it's a Hale Field. <laughs> But it was after the name of the old man, H-A-L-E-S, Hales. The old Hales field. And, uh, yeah, it's, things take on a name, guys. They take on a name. All right, I'm going to just sit here and watch these boys for a minute. I'm not going to interfere with them. I ask them what to do. Ask them to do it, and they're down there doing it, and they're doing a great job, I can tell from here. I see the guineas going out to check on them. They're going to say, what y'all doing out here? Around our pond. <laughs> oh, that comes Ivan. Ivan's coming to check on them. What are you guys doing out here? Y'all didn't ask me. Nobody asked Ivan. I mean, they not only set the post deep and tamping the dirt around, but they're leveling it. They're making sure everything's level. How'd he be so proud of them two boys? I am. I'm very proud of him. I'm proud of that boy across the pond from him. <laughs> yeah, and that girl standing there watching him. Here comes Ivan. I can't wait to see what Ivan does. He's going to come check out. Y'all better do it right for my papa. <laughs> He's watching them. Now, if I don't bring his old big donkey butt up there and start rubbing on it like a cat like he does me, get it all out of kilter. You know, you can find a lots of pleasure just watching animals and how they react to different things. Animals will watch you build a fence. They'll come out and watch you build a fence, or it looks like they're doing there, watching them set a post. I noticed the cows and Ivan, and all of them watch Daniel working on that fence down there. They watch, they watch Jake when he's building his fence, and Lester over here working on that fence. They just watch them. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Yeah, I'm real proud of them boys. Ben and... Jake doing a great job, and then my boy Ivan's going to inspect it. Yep, and he's checking it over. Is it straight, Ben? Is it straight? I'm proud of them boys. I'm proud of all my grandkids. I'm proud of my kids and great grandkids. Yeah. G did good. She did real good. She taught them the better parts of things they do. <laughs> yeah. Well it looked great. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Thank you, boys. That's great. 
See those guineas and those chickens inside there? They can come out through that chick cozy door, but they won't. They eat right there. That's where they think they gotta eat. I look for that rooster there. He don't have a flock. There comes a guinea out. He don't have a flock of his own because that old big rooster over here, that older rooster has the hens in his group. Hey kid, what's up? Now I'm trying to video there, Macy. I'm trying to, Macy. Papa did a video. All right, that's better. That's my better, baby. Anyway, I look for him to take over the little hens as soon as they, he thinks they're old enough to be his wives. Now he go give them time. He's not gonna be, a, he's not gonna take on children as wife, but he will watch them. And the minute he thinks one is eligible, he will pull her into his little flock. He'll start his own little flock with them. And them little young roosters in there won't stand a chance as far as having their own, their own little hens. Hey, listen, I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk. You're probably saying, what about the Guinness, Papa? Where are they going to go? They'll go where they want to go, probably with you guys. They'll probably go with you guys. Because at some point, they'll realize they're not chickens. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. He's checking it out. He's checking out that post. I knew he would. I knew he was going to check it out. See if that boy's did a good job. Yep, he, I guess he approves. Okay, I'm going to the woods, mi mi Miracle. I'm going to the woods. Miracle's had breakfast. She's lazy now. She ain't going to do nothing. Stop, I'm trying to talk. People can't hear. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. All right. Anyway, that's what that rooster's waiting on. He's waiting on him to grow up. See, Logan got all the posts set you last night. He stayed here late. I brought him supper. <laughs> I come out and it's almost dark. He said, but how long are you going to work? He said, well, I want to try to get these posts done. And I said, well, look, we're going to go over to Dan's about 7 to have supper. You going to come over and have supper with us? He says, well, I, I might. I'm going to try to finish first. And uh, so G had went to the store and bought, uh, brought home some hearts chicken yesterday chicken and rolls and french fries and stuff we had a quite a bit left over so i made him a big old plate of french fries and fried okra rolls and chicken tenders and a cold drink and i brought that here too i said look i know you don't want to stop before you get through so here at least take you a break and and eat this because it's about six then it's already getting dark and i need still an hour to go before before we went over to eat at Dan's. So anyway, he was so thankful that I brought him supper. <laughs> he just kept thanking me. And, and he did, he stopped right where he was at and sat in the back of his car. His car has a hatchback, that light on in there. He sat in the back of the car. So he come over and said, there's this picnic table right over here if you want to. He said, no, I'm fine right here. And anyway, he sat there and ate. And a little bit later, I heard him working again and he, he finished it up. So there's the gate I got yesterday. And he's already hung yet. So I kind of come by, kind of helped him in a way. Kind of held up one end while he bumped it all together. Uh, so yeah, that's 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 this side here. And he's gonna do his whole property like that. That's where all them poles are laying out there. Uh, he got those poles off some uh, electrical lines they had taken down somewhere. He bought them, and uh, he's cutting them up for. Uh, and these, these here will be trimmed back. There's some, they're not even. He'll come along here later, probably about where the string is, I'm guessing, and, and kind of cut them all off even. He may, leave, he may leave these here at the gate taller. I don't know. May put up a solar light or something on, on these here by the gate. That may kind of look good. If you come out here at night, you can see to get in and out of the gate if you need to. Anyway, uh, I just want to show you what he got done. He's a hardworking boy. Yeah, he's one hardworking dude. All right, let's go put that sign up. Leave his string alone. Why do y'all do stuff like that? Mary Ann. Mary Ann. 
leave this string alone, baby. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bye. I guarantee you they'll come too. They ain't gonna stay here. They ain't not gonna stay by themselves. Gotta put hay out here for a little gidget and the goats. And then we're going back and hang inside. All right, boys did a good job. They did a good job. Oh, yeah, there, there's those ducks. See them? I hate to make them leave, but I need to do some work here. They'll come back, and I'm gonna bring some corn down, throw around the edge of the water. Yeah, I'm gonna bring some corn down here for them. Little wood ducks. What, what they call wood ducks. All right, got here. All right, that's good. That duck air. <laughs> that duck turned over. I don't know if yonder's not real. I counted him yesterday's real, but it wasn't. I can say there's four ducks. There's only three, and they're still here today. So I'm going to bring some corn down, throw along the edges. Uh, and hopefully they'll keep coming back and, and give them good winter, winter food. Okay, get this sign ready. Okay, I'll put my level on it. Boy, spread it down good. that shoulder rotator cuff worked on surgery the doctor told me it's never gonna be right above your head he was right if he was right about anything he was right about that This will be forever known as Heidi Swimming Hole. Thank you so much. I guarantee you she's looking down and she's as proud and happy as she can be right now. She has her own little campground or park, whatever you want to call it, named after her. Now she's got her own swimming hole named after her. What a mark she left here on this farm. Because of you folks. I love y'all. I love that. That's going to be beautiful. And I'm going to get out here later. And I'm going to try to get that duck up. <laughs> and get him set up right. And I'm going to pick up that trash that's in that pond right now. And keep this thing cleaned up some. And I'm going to bring some corn back and scatter along the edges for those ducks. If they come back. I love that right there, guys. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So beautiful. So fitting. It's fitting. This, this is the, her pond right here. This is her pond. Her swimming hole. If you remember that last time she came swimming, she knew it. I get sad thinking about it, but she knew it. And, uh, 
she didn't just go out and take her little dip and come back out. She just kept swimming, kept swimming. She didn't want it to end. She didn't want it to end. I didn't either. Thank y'all. Oh, Kippy, yeah. <laughs> Woody's trying to show he's boss. <laughs> oh, it's 201 now. 201. Look at Woody. Missing the show. We're going to make some ribs in a little while. Gene, you need to make some ribs. All right, Woody and I are going to put out some corn for those ducks. Uh, give them a little winter feed. You know, ducks, like everything else, they need to eat. And uh, if they keep coming, I'll keep feeding them. I'll just throw it along the edge of the water, some in the water. And it'll swell up and pop to the top, and they can eat it whenever they want to. Then ducks go under. So I'm gonna start right here. And I'll walk around the pond and uh, and throw his feet out. Okay. All right. Here it. How do you swim in hope? Almost a gallon, all along the edges, a little bit in the water, all the way around the pond. And, uh, so the ducks will have plenty to eat. They come back. And I got that bag out of the pond. Uh, there's a couple of little things out there I can't get. So I can't reach that duck without a longer pole. I'm going to tell you, a longer pole can pull him in and get him set up right. Can't have a duck laying it there sideways. <laughs> I love you guys. Stop. When you stop to rest, this is what happens. People like this. And you cannot leave your keys in here. They'll pull them out. I love you, baby. I do. I love you both. Y'all cannot be make, picking on my boy. He ain't gonna tolerate this stuff. I'm telling y'all. He ain't gonna tolerate it. Tell him what. They're not gonna double team you. You go get Kippy. He go get Kippy to come back. He get his game. What has got a game? <laughs> yeah, what has got a game? He ain't afraid of y'all. He go get a kippy in and bandit. They'll put you two on the run. Watch out, Kip. I mean, Woody. They fixed to come down here on top of you. <laughs> yeah, you have to take your keys. You cannot leave your keys in here because they'll grab them. Pull them out. Who knows where they'd drop them at? They'll take them somewhere hanging on to them like this, yeah, you know. They go out across the yard. And who knows where they'd drop them? <sighs> okay, I'm fixing to go to the feed store. And then I'm going to run over to Kroger. There's a grocery store, so I can't take Woody. I'm going to take Woody to the feed store with me today. But I'm just going to stop and get a sack of feed just to get me through tomorrow. I'll go to the feed store on Saturday. Get everything I need. I got plenty of stuff until then. Uh, probably gonna cut this video off, get it out to you for tomorrow. Uh, we put, fed up everything. Uh, <laughs> we fed up everything. I even put duck duck feed out, corn for the ducks. I hope they come back. They will. They was out there yesterday and again today, and. Uh, Two here, I don't know. 
I don't know. What what did Tina have against me? What did what did Tina have against me? <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm gonna stop at Kroger and get Lex some tamales. He wants some tamales. His mom buys tamales at Kroger. And he said they're real good. He likes those. We bought some at Walmart. He didn't care for it's a different brand, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna stop at Kroger and get him some tamales. And uh that's gonna be it for the, for me this morning. Catch you guys later. Alright guys, I'm gonna put this video out to you. I hope you'll enjoy it. And uh I'm having to deal with these little girls. And I'm fixing to go to uh the feed store, pick up some feed, and I'm, I'm gonna go on down to Kroger and get some tamales for Lex. He likes uh tamales that where his mom buys them at, at Kroger's, and he likes those. And I'm gonna pick him up some. And uh, these little girls, I'm gonna tell y'all something, they are fun, they're fun to watch, they're paying the butt, they're paying the butt. Yes, you are. You are, you ain't pain in the butt. Yes, you are, baby. Now, Paul, don't mean that ugly, okay? I'm not being ugly to you, but you are a little pain. See, you're right in my lap. But I let you. Here comes your sister. Here comes your sister. Anyway, I'm going to get this video out to you. I had to cut this video in half. It's too long, almost an hour long, that I've done this morning. So I'm going to make it in two parts. I hope you'll enjoy it. Hope you'll enjoy both parts. And uh, hit the like button on both parts. <laughs> you may have the same ending on both of them. It's not the same video. It's just I'm gonna make one ending for both videos and get it out to you. I love you guys. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and uh, hit the like button and share it with a friend. And I love you guys. And we're gonna get this out to you. Y'all wanna say something before I close? Y'all wanna say anything? Oh, you're sweet. You're being sweet, Ginger. Laying down. Why don't you be sweet, little girl? Yeah, Mary, and I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Oh, they're good little girls. They are. They're good little girls. They're fun. They're fun to watch. They're fun to watch with, with Woody. Woody loves playing with them. They love playing with Woody. They'll look Woody up to Buddy. <laughs> and he'll, he'll look them up to Chase. Woody loves chasing y'all. I love you guys. Y'all take care. And remember, same ending for two videos. I love you.